How's it going folks, it is I, Napalm. Thank you guys again for watching the video. If you could be so kind as to leave a like, comment if you're new to the channel, and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos that I post, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching the video guys, enjoy. Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Sammo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. I wonder what happened to Bosco. What does it all mean? I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for all of this, Sam. You're right, Max. We... wait. When have we ever had a rational explanation for anything? Exactly. We're way past due for one. Can you believe we're on a real detective case with Flint Paper himself? Quiet, Sam! I know he's going to just spontaneously crack the case wide open any second now. What are you staring at, fellas? You're making me nervous. I didn't think so at the time, but now I've got to admit it. It was worth driving all the way back to Germany to return your soul to your zombified husk of a body. Oh, jeez, Sam, don't get all mushy on me in front of Flint Paper. We've got the run of the whole store, Max. Anything you feel like looting? You'd think I would, but nothing's really calling out to me. Keep thinking, Max. All right, thanks for the reminder. I never get tired of looking at this, baby. I don't want to shoot my little buddy. Better not. Hey, Flint. Found anything yet, Sammy? Still working on it. Any leads on where Bosco went? He kept yapping on about T-H-E-M and his secret bunker. The poor delusional sap. What's the word on the street on Bosco's disappearance? I've been making chin music with every pigeon in this bird, but nobody's singing. Trails dried up like a hobo's inner thigh. How quickly the lingo goes from colorful to gut-churning. What happened to Bosco again? It's like I told you, Sam. He's vanished like a C-note on race day. Right off the face of the earth! How long has Bosco been missing? While you were in Schnitzeltown making chummy with the undead, there was a ruckus in the back of this dive. After that, the B-Man took a powder. Why were you keeping an eye on Bosco? A going-away present for my old partner. God rest that bastard. First case he ever had, 40 years ago, and never solved. Some doll who wanted to keep an eye on this Bosco mook. Said he'd done her wrong, and he had to take the fall. Don't worry, Flint. We've got the skills to find whoever kidnapped Bosco. I am still president, after all. That may be, but are you a bad enough president to rescue the dude? Stick around, Flint. You boys know where to find me. Ah, it's not like you to give up on a case, Sammo! You're right, Flint. Don't know what came over me. Bosco didn't take any pictures of himself. His camera no doubt thanks him. As informative as Max Impeachment Weekly is, I doubt it'll tell us where Bosco is. It's Bosco's lighted display board. No Bosco's in here. Bosco? No, nope, different weenie. We already checked the roof. Just a Pigeon AA meeting. Nothing worth mentioning. Bosco, you in there? I hope not, or Bosco be gone. Our lust for this tangy fruit drink started this whole mess. No clues here. 
just an enlarger, no big thing. It shows you what's inside what's inside. Are THEM really out there? Any clues for us, Hugh Bliss? Nope, not a clue. No clues here. All that paranoia. And he couldn't even save himself. Hey, Sizemo, what's shaking? We can't get in until we get past this laser grid. To get past the laser grid, first you have to forgive the laser grid. The freezer's Bosco free. A painful reminder of the Bosco shaped hole in our hearts. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew, I'd kill for a time machine right about now. Of course, I'd kill for just about anything. This keypad must control the laser grid blocking Bosco's bathroom. Oh, use it to spell boobies. I love that. Bosco, lasers, and pushing random buttons are three things that don't go well together, little buddy. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. Wow, it's everything we needed to solve last year's hypnotism conspiracy. Whew, I... My first Moai Head, and hopefully my last. All right, let's have a look at your x-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. It's an x-ray of Bosco's Moai Head. Nuh-uh. Hmm. It looks like... Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. You did it, Sammo! Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. Keep thinking, Max. All right. Thanks for the reminder. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho oh, ho! You don't know the half of it. Bosco's been ordering nothing but baking soda and paper mache. Bosco has all his shirts specially treated to block out the thought control rays. Lest nefarious forces take control of his nipples. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. I'll bet we can find Bosco's trail if we just repeat everything he did. All right, fool. I'll start by buying a convenience store and standing in it until the music turns me into a delusional maniac. And I'll start wearing tight-fitting t-shirts. Ready? Go. So Bosco's secret bunker was in the bathroom all this time? Oh yeah, it's been like this for years. Just think of all the stuff you miss when you have a crippling phobia of public bathrooms. Lots of volcanoes in here. Which finally explains at least 10% of those strange rumbling noises always coming from the bathroom. Do you ever wonder if there is some higher intelligence from far away guiding everything we do? Higher intelligence? No. Easily amused and starved for entertainment? You sure? Keep looking for clues, Max. I'm on the case! Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. 
I'm pretty sure I can hold it until the end of the case. Pretty sure? From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. From the looks of it, these wine bottles haven't been touched in decades. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley... Woof! Nippy Valley Woof! For party time or any time! Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. Urinals. Such a crude and barbaric means of bladder relief. Says the guy who uses the fire hydrant. I would clean up in here, but I don't want to disturb any evidence. If you explode it, they will come. And if it's brown, flush it down. Bosco's disguises, each more offensively ludicrous than the last. Baking soda plus vinegar equals eruption. Sounds hot, but they didn't leave a phone number. Bosco's high-tech 100% convincing disguise kit. So, which kit was he using last year, then? A jumbo-sized bag of cotton balls. D don't open it, Sam! I can never eat just one! Bosco keeps plenty of baking soda on hand to keep the bathroom fresh. Tons of model volcanoes just like the one on Easter Island. It's like Bosco was obsessed with this shape. Like I'm obsessed with the shape of Bosco's unnaturally bulbous forearms? A little like that, but slightly less creepy. Rampaging Roy Neary with a meat and two sides. Recognize that from Easter Island, Max? It's a model volcano. I'd say it's downright exemplary. There's no way I'm touching that towel. Not after all the people who've been using it. But Bosco and I are the only ones who ever come back here. Exactly. Not big enough. Bigger. Ugh, sheesh. Even bathrooms aren't safe from natural male enhancement spam. It's like I'm always telling you, Sam. We need a much bigger explosion. This time, you might be right, Max. I don't know how to open the barrel. What was that for, Sam? That barrel was looking at me funny. and the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's that noise? They've come for us, Max. It's T-H-E-M! Good! About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Hey guys! <laughs> Look, I can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that, uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good! Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That... Uh, that elevator over there? It's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M. But when I got out, I saw my mother! Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, it gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this. You gotta fix it, guys. What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on! I built this device that lets me predict where they were gonna show up next. Then I let them come on and take me! So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, <laughs> it's all a blur. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this... thing. What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it! The center of the entire operation of THEM! Kinda sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. The place seems pretty empty. Where are T-H-E-Y hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids! Bosco, Sam is standing right here! What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys! Try to keep up! Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools! Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, guys! Normal? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. Stay, Bosco. Stay... Stay. Cut out the wisecracks and fix me. Tempting, yes. But that'd be like giving up on this case. Looks like some kind of weird alien radio. Whee! Hey, Max. What do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. Who are you? I am this craft's artificial intelligence. I supervise the operations of this craft and the activities of its crew. Where's the crew? They are currently occupied with the craft's primary mission. They will arrive shortly to detain you for your own safety. What happened to Bosco? The intruder made unsanctioned use of the time shuttle. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. So long. Goodbye. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Politically correct. Selection acknowledged as no more or less valid than the other available choices. How do we use that elevator? Simply choose a destination. Additional destinations can be opened using convenient pre-printed time cards. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Suggestive. Oh, that is exactly how I like it. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Where's the crew? Don't worry about them. This moment is all about us. What happened to Bosco? Bosco made illicit use of the time shuttle and just savaged history. <laughs> How do we use that elevator? Print out a card to where you want to go and insert it slowly into the time card reader. So long. I'll see you later. Abusive. 
Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself, or did your idiot friend help out? Who are you? Did it ever dawn on you I might be the ship's computer, moron? Where's the crew? They're away talking to people who aren't idiots, which means they're luckier than me. What happened to Bosco? Oh gee, I don't know. Do you think it might have something to do with screwing around with his history, Brainiac? How do we use that elevator? It's a time machine. You get time cards. Figure it out, moron. So long. Get lost, failure. Passive-aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. Who are you? Oh, nobody. Just the one who controls all functions of the ship's computer. That's all. Where's the crew? Oh, I don't know. They're off somewhere, leaving me to take care of everything. What happened to Bosco? Oh, he just interfered with causality, leaving it for the rest of us to clean up. How do we use that elevator? Just print out a time card whenever it's convenient for you. Don't worry about wasting paper or anything. So long. Fine. Leave. It's not like I was still talking. Suggestive. Good choice. So long. I'll see you later. Moo! Bosco's oppressors could spring out of there any moment. Ray guns blazing. Enough dawdling! I'm ready for some elevator action! Moo! What kinds of gruesome things do you think the aliens will do to us when they find us? I don't know. But if I get impregnated with a grotesque alien baby, I want you to be the godfather. Ditto for me, pal. How much you think a spaceship like this costs, Max? Too much! And you know it lost 20% of its value the second they flew it off the lot. I wonder what all these undulating tubes and flashing panels are for. Atmosphere. Literally or figuratively? Yes. Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! Hmm, there appears to be an 18% loss of efficiency in the starboard tachyon pulse perambulator. It'd take me four days to fix. You have 30 seconds! That must be the alien's abduction beam. Either we've seen a huge spike in theta wave radiation off the port bow, or I have no idea how to read this thing. I guess we have to use that card on the elevator to go anywhere. The spaceship's artificial intelligence unit is stuck on the elevator. Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well uh... now. Nine millimeter hollow points are always special. Nations rise and nations fall, but those hot weenies will outlast us all. Better not. The one constant across all human cultures of all times is a massive amount of waste. They're... they're... They're beautiful. Hey, Max, remember that old carbon data we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some uh, modifications to it. Baby food and bum wipes. If you use less of one, you wouldn't need as many of the other. What a waste. What a senseless waste.
This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. Hmm, this sample says Mama Bosco. Don't touch that! I made that sample when my spit was most fertile! Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Cold orange things you suck never go out of style. Milk and hooch. Something for the kitties and something for your cereal. Gives time out for number one a whole new meaning. What are we doing here in the past again? Aren't we trying to get Bosco back to the way we've always known him? Oh, that's right. And why are we doing that again? Well, it beats having to think up new insults. How are you enjoying the 60s, Max? I want to get out of here before they start swinging, Sam. Remember, Max, if we see a hippie, just shoot to wound. We don't want to kill the parents of any important scientists or something. Right, because all the best scientists have names like Tree and Sunshine. Hang loose, Max. That's the only way I know how to hang. Russians send first woman into space. Soon they'll send all their women into space. I'm still fairly sure I can hold it. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine. Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. No time out needed. We're better to crunch numbers than in the jar. Oh, the germs look so young. My paws are spotless. Why'd we come in here again? I just assumed you had to go number one. Nah, I save it all up for between cases. I guess we might as well look around while we're here. Mama Bosco keeps this place a lot more sanitary than her son ever did. Well, she's got one big advantage. We haven't been born yet. We've got to stop meeting like this, Max. Uh, a little privacy, please. I can't make wisecracks with anybody looking at me. Stay close, Max. Not too close. It's a cork, from a wine bottle. Not much to it, really. It's for taking chemical samples, of people's spit and other things. It's our old carbon dater, with Bosco's printer attachment. I think I'm better off not knowing what Max is made of. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Hmm, it printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. Nothing doing. It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. What was that? We just needed to scan you for... Uh... The hell you did! Explain yourselves! You must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss. You. Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police! Finally, the police! Maybe you can help me catch that fool. Which fool did you want us to catch, exactly? That... 
That man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco always did know how to make a memorable first impression. Can you tell us more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. That should narrow the list of suspects down to... any man with eyes. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ouch! We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Ah, uh, I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian Candidate. We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman and inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. It's not that. We're friends with him. Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. But when I do have one, she's gonna be the most perfect little angel. What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Well, how does this baby-making machine work? You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person, and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours, and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm gonna test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? Saliva, fools! Well, naturally. Oh, of course. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion. And when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. See you later, Miss Bosco. We're gonna pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. You got a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman. And I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. Run away with me, Max. My white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. Miss Bosco, I really think you should reconsider. I can already see us. Living next door to that nice detective. Well, it would be nice having someone to do my laundry. You don't even wear clothes. And yet, I always end up with so many blood-stained shirts. Tis a mystery. Think of your children. What about that? I won't need kids once I have the love of my Max. He'll be my new little pet project. I... I'm a bad seed! I can't be faithful to just one woman! Oh, I'm enough for at least a dozen women. You dog, you. We're from different worlds. I'm from Earth, and you're from the freakiest planet of the freak system. Opposites attract, baby. You're the only man not falling over himself to get me. Max just isn't that into you. Oh, gee, Sam, show a little tact. What he means to say is, there is absolutely no way, no how, I would ever, 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 ever be interested in you until the day the Earth is consumed by the flames of our exploding sun. You say that now. I'm president of the U.S., and you'd make a lousy first lady. You just don't know what you want. I may not be the first, but I'm the last lady you'll ever need. Max is belligerent, recalcitrant, and quite possibly psychotic. So you're jealous, is that it? Want to keep him all to yourself? I never knew you felt this way, Sam. Temporal anomaly detect- Shut up! It's not like that. 
I'm married to my career. They had the ceremony in Canada because it's legal there. All those excuses you keep making just prove you need me. Max is no good for you. Oh, I can fix him. Just looking at you repulses me. And that's from a guy who has a 12-volume scrapbook labeled, Things I Have Shed. You can try to push me away, but I know how you really feel. Max doesn't even like girls. They're a nuisance at best. Hasn't been interested since? Well, when did that start exactly? I think it all goes back to that time we were... No flashback? Mm, okay. Well, it's been ever since junior high. I think I'd rather take napalm and an IV drip while being pulled through a wheat thresher than spend another second with you. You can't get rid of me that easy. You're wasting your time, Miss Bosco. Max just isn't interested. The more he protests, the more I know he's the one. Wow, Mama Bosco really fell for you hard. She's only human. And it's human nature to want most the thing you can never have? I guess, Confucius. I just mean I'd be more into her if she were a cyborg or moth creature or something. Just plain girls are dumb. Are you going to leave a broken heart in every time period we visit, Max? I hope so. A broken kneecap, at least. I can see why Mama Bosco's so in love with you. Hang loose, Max. What do you think you're doing? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. Just look at what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat! Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything, or are you gonna fix me? Sheesh! Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. Bosco already scanned himself with this thing. Moo! Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! Did you miss us? What have you two been doing all this time? Hanging out with your mom. Real classy, guys. Fine, don't help me. Feeling better, Bosco? I don't know, you guys. I still feel kinda... distant. What did you guys do? We kinda made it so that you've never been born. Whoops. But being born is one of the greatest things I ever did! Fix it, you fools! Existence isn't something you can just ask for, Bosco. You've got to earn it! How's life as a paradox treating you, Bosco? Oh, it sucks, man. I want to exist all the way again. Do something! How is this THEM detector supposed to work again? It's a highly sophisticated technology that works based on a target person. You scan somebody with it, then use that to open a new destination for the time machine. Ah, <sighs> finally a straight answer. I don't know why they started outsourcing tech support to store owners on spaceships. How is this THEM detector supposed to work again? It's a highly sophisticated technology that works based on a target person. You scan somebody with it, then use that to open a new destination for the time machine. Ah, <sighs> finally a straight answer. I don't know why they started outsourcing tech support to store owners on spaceships. Can you describe your father for us? Man, I thought you guys were detectives. Haven't you figured out I was a test tube, baby? 
My mama didn't need a man. I got everything from her. Where'd you get your paranoid fear of giant invisible conspiracies out to kill you? That's a chemical imbalance that's all mine. Are you sure you can't give us any leads on your father? Hmm, Mama mentioned once she met him at the White House. We're on the case, Bosco. We've gotta go break up with your mother. I told you guys, cut it out! Sam, it's my summer office! I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? This will not stand! The Oval Office looks the same in our time as it did back in the 60s. Yeah, I was hoping you'd take that as a challenge from the other First Ladies, but you just never stepped up to the plate. I wonder who Mama Bosco's spit donor could be. This is crazy, sexy Washington, D.C. at the beginning of a cultural revolution, Sam. I bet there's more spitting going on than at a wine tasting. I wonder who Mama Bosco's spit donor could be. This is crazy, I bet there's more... I'm glad we never run into more than a couple of other people, no matter where we go. We always seem to know the perfect season to travel. Hang loose, Daddy-o. Right on. A true weasel scout would keep his merit badges on him at all times. Be prepared. Be very prepared. I'm guessing they couldn't fit a television on there. We choose to go to the gift shop and buy this snow globe, not because it is pretty, but because it is cheap. This far in the past, I assumed the Earth was still flat. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. Things to do in Dallas. foreign policy for ninjas. If I remember my history correctly, today's the day of the pivotal rat peace accords. We'd better not disturb them. Hi, I'm George Washington. Shove your nuts in my mouth and I'll crack them. Please don't make fun of nuts. Having 50 of these pillows would make the place a lot more comfy. We could build a fort! It's the official calendar of the United States. The best part of being president is changing the date for the entire country. I don't want to change the date right now. I'm temporarily confused enough as it is. The father of our country. I wonder who's in this picture. It probably came with a frame. Annals of Americana. How to win a war in 30 days. Truth, Justice, and the American Way by Clark Kalel Kent. Annals of Americana. Hi there, random Secret Service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before. And there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, Superball! I get it! Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam. Our mission is clear. Nuke the commie I think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. What do you think of the president? He's the greatest man who ever lived, sir. Oh, these poor bastards of the 60s, having to grow up in a world without David Arquette. Heard any good gossip about the president? 
extra toes or nipples, can't talk to the press without slices of ham stuffed down his pants, stuff like that. The president is beyond reproach, sir. I won't hear any more of it. How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? A sort of career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We came here from the far-off future. Aren't you amazed and surprised? Isn't that shocking? I've seen a lot of things, sir. It takes a lot to shock me. Oh, really? I bet we could surprise you. Can't be done, sir. I'm imperturbable. We come from the beginning of the 21st century. In the future, television is delivered through thick cables instead of being sent through the air. Does that not blow your ever-loving mind? Not really, sir. I'm not easily startled. We're your new sons. And we want to live in your house! And raise my children of questionable parentage! And we're both axe murderers. And I'm voting for Barry Goldwater! Nothing? It's like I said, sir. I'm not startled easily. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. We killed your dog. I'm surprised, sir. Really? Yes. Surprised that you try that one again. It never works. All right, we give up. The man's a rock, Sam. Nice try, sirs. I almost felt my pulse rate increase there. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We'd like a tour of the office. Very well, sir. That's a desk. There's a couch. Another couch is there. A calendar. Some pictures. The door you see behind me is 100% northwestern white pine with an interior flat jam in. That's plenty, thanks. We'd like another office tour. We've already covered the desk, calendar, and pictures, so more about this door. On second thought, we'll explore on our own. We want to hear you narrate a public service announcement. All right. Are your cigarettes killing you? As unbelievable as it might seem, cigarettes made outside the U.S. actually contain chemicals that are addictive and possibly even harmful. For your own safety and that of your children, smoke only homeland-grown tobacco, the kind doctors recommend for your good health. Now you know, for a better America. We want to hear another public service announcement. Do you know how to recognize a communist? Look for the telltale signs. All communists are double-jointed in their necks and elbows to aid them as they steal American secrets. Communists also secrete a brownish, viscous residue from their palms, which can be found on their homes, children, and pets. Now you know, for a better America. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? It's for a baby crib that rocks itself, using a motor powered by angry bees. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. Very well. What'll it be? It's a formula for cat litter that explodes when it comes into contact with urine. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. It's a perpetual motion engine driven by racial tension. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. Colostomy bags made of bubble wrap. As much fun to pop as they are to wear. That's clever, sir. But I can't just issue a patent on an idea. I'd need a sample of the invention, plus an explanation of what makes it unique. Just keep guarding that door. Gladly, sir. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Let's put that Stinky's time card to use! Hey, Super Bowl, would you mind spitting on this? It's for a science project. Can't, sir. I never spit. Unless I'm startled or under extreme distress. No way. Better not. It printed a time card with our logo on it.
What do you two want? It's the one true stinky! Are we glad to see you? Why? Still, it's a new person to talk to. Look, Sam! It's us as impressionable preteens! Exceedingly well done! F plus. I'm not sure if that's failing well or failing poorly. Gooey malicious tar cake. Hi, Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, so I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. I'm just saying. We bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be... murdered! Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator while being pelted with karate-tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to meet the man who could murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max! Honest, Stinky, we're detectives, and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter Mike left Pallet. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're gonna have to get on that pretty quick. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when I've got so much cooking to do. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. You're both wrong, and you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of you. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip-flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> so are you going to show us to our table or what? How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. Better not. Weird, it doesn't work on him, for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good, keep your fancy gewgaws and who's who it away from me. Would you mind giving us a spit sample, Stinky? You want my spit sample? Just order some food. No thanks. I don't remember us being such socially maladjusted nerds in our youth. Socially maladjusted what? <laughs> we were kings of the arcade! Keep shooting for the stars, Max. 
I wonder how things would have been different if we dated more in school. Or dated at all. Women come and go, Sam. A high score lasts forever! Bluster Blaster was a lot more polite and encouraging way back when. I wonder what got into him. He wised up and saw that nice is boring. You gotta have edge, or you get crushed along with all the other pill bugs. You're embarrassing when you try to act cynical, Max. Remember all those wild and wacky trends and events from the 80s, Max? Do I? What was the deal with those jodhpurs and powdered wigs we all wore? The Louisiana Purchase. What were we thinking? Cotton gins! <laughs> I mean, really. Fellini Satyricon became the voice of a generation. The Smoot Holly Terrifact! Crazy! Wow, we're not very good at this nostalgia business, are we? It may not seem like that now. Smell you later, homeboy. Totally! I knew Girl Stinky didn't really salvage this from the Titanic Part 2. There's just the one song. As Stinky would say, if you don't like it, go deaf. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the President. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your... Holy! I didn't think they knew that word back then. The President's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! Shouldn't you kids be doing something constructive? Or at least less nerdy? Today I get to do anything I want! You do anything you want every day, Max. You're the best! Why don't you kids go outside and play? Why would I go outside when my best friend's in here? Gee, Max. Oh yeah, Sam's here too! You're radical! What's so great about this video game? Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me! You rock hard! See what I mean? Wouldn't it be healthier to get your validation from other people? People are dumb, and they just don't get me. You're the greatest! See, it's like the game knows what I'm thinking. Playing that game so much is unhealthy, little guy. You're awesome! Unhealthy to hear the truth? I don't think so. I vaguely remember something very important about this day. What was it? There was my party. Duh! Don't forget that prom and after-prom kissing retreat tonight, Max. Boring! Great job! You're getting better! That prom sounds like a fun and informative time for a young person. Why aren't you there? Couldn't you get a date? Loser! You're the loser, loser! No, you are! Jenny Tallarico asked me to go, but I turned her down. She just doesn't get me like Bluster Blaster does. Great move! You almost dodged it! Wasn't Jenny Tallarico the girl who had a crush on you for years, Max? I don't know. I never noticed. They call her Jenny Tungarico, cause she'll kiss anybody and she uses her whole mouth! Grody! Ugh, grody! There's lots of neat stuff about girls. You'll realize once you take that first step to adulthood. Eh, why bother? I've got everything I need right here. You're the best! Just say no, little buddy. Word up! Hey champ, what are you working on? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. But we're strangers who have candy and cool guns you can play with. Well, that should be okay. I'm working on my new arcade game, Bluster Blaster. What are you doing with Bluster Blaster? I built them from a kit. Now I'm just working on the AI. Now I remember! You used to be a total nerd, Sam! Funny, though. All this time we've spent talking to the cops, and you never once mentioned you're the guy who built Bluster Blaster. Just never seemed relevant, I guess. What's wrong with the video game? It's fine, I guess. But with only a 1 MHz processor and this 8-bit I.O. adapter, the A.I. doesn't get enough cycles to... Can the dork lingo, Chubbs? Just give me the recap. It'd be easy enough to download a new A.I., but I haven't found one that's any good. 
What was that you needed for your video game again? A new artificial intelligence, Grandpa. Don't you grown-ups know anything about computers? Shouldn't you kids be outside playing or dating or whatnot? Outside? It's 8 o'clock at night. When I was your age, I would have set fire to at least four different categories of things by this hour. Nuh-uh. You would have been playing that video game all day, just like he is. Don't you sass me, boy! You're lucky that you grew up to be the only one who knows how to use the time machine, kid. Aren't you worried you're turning into something of a... well, uh... Dweeb? Doofus? Dorkwad? Who cares? I don't need you guys or anybody else. Max never calls me names. That's right, Poindexter. Headshot! Wouldn't you rather grow up to be as cool as I am? With a boss car and a detective job and a huge gun? Hmm, would I have to be as fat as you too? Temporal anomaly detected. You got lucky, punk. There's got to be something more constructive to do than work on this game all night. Well, there is that prom at the school tonight. This year's theme is Summer of Awakening Desire. Lame! 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 Well said! A smooth kid like you must have dozens of girls wanting to go to the prom with you. Uh, don't lie to the boy, Sam! Nah, all the girls are into Max because he's mean to them. And also, he doesn't complain when they dress him up in their doll clothes. Ah, the precious memories. Let's stick to one neurosis at a time, Max. Don't you want to get out and meet more sexy young people your age? Eh, who's got time for that? My video game is so close to perfect! You're amazing! Oh, Bluster Blaster, you know me too well! Make good choices, son. Didn't you guys say I could play with your guns? We lied, kid. Remember this. It's a good life lesson. Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, as long as you promise to bring it back, I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, kid. A screwdriver, the kind used for screwing and unscrewing. Heck no! I'm keeping this away from me for my own good. I really don't want to screw that. Max, distract Stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! Da! Real smooth, little buddy. Smell you later, homeboy. Totally! It's a letter from the president to a movie starlet named Maxine Le Pew back in 1963, asking for a rendezvous at Stinky's. It's a letter from the president. Sam, more visitors! I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Hiya, Future Max. Oh, hey, guys! Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day! Comically backwards past versions of ourselves! Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly, so that your 21st century brains can understand. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you, if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people, even when we're not at home! My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats! What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28000 line? Well, of course! Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. 
I can't shoot, Max. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <sighs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rigel 17. <laughs> Booster rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco... Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No. I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Yes, dear stupid past Sam, but of course now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam! These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp! I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes, well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. What's this about stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from mole men. Be seeing ya. So long! That's how we say goodbye in the future. Whee! Hello, future me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. How goes the case, future me? I can't reach it. Keep up the good work. I think I'll leave him to his memories. When did the Jetsons move in? There goes the neighborhood. Get a laser gun, you Neanderthals! No, I've still got a few good years left in me. Your pitiful past weapons have no effect on us of the future! I don't need a sample from him. I don't need a sample from him. How embarrassing. This is 30 start H behind. Their appeal is timeless. With this bad boy, we'll never need another file cabinet. Hmm, guess we couldn't afford two tape drives. Whoa! I hate pack rats. Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Blowing things up for science will never go out of style! It's a little late for that. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? Hmm, it's an obituary from the local paper. Or trophies from our victims! Who'd we get this time? Local Mariachi Pedro died this week, due to complications from... From what? A perfectly aimed bullet to the evildoer's cold black heart? I can't read the rest. It's too blurry. It says, Stinky Stick Tight Adhesive, based on an old family recipe. Number one throughout the entire galaxy, with secret ingredient Bitumen 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. What are we supposed to be doing here? Wandering the barren radioactive wastelands seeking post-apocalyptic justice? Oh, I'd rather just stick around the office. Having a volcano in our office was just a bad idea. Not 
nonsense! Giving me unrestricted access to it for the last century was a bad idea. The future is frightening and confusing. I could try to explain our ways, but to your primitive ears it would sound like unintelligible, high-pitched whirring. Wait, I thought he was the future Max. He is, Sam. You really are easy to fool. See you later. I don't think it gets much later than this. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's diner. Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. It's a national heirloom that Super Bowl spit all over. It's a sample of Agent Superball spit. Mmm, time stream altered. Bosco! You're back to normal! Hello, fool. Mr. President, fool. Hmm. I suspect we got the wrong dad, Max. So, Bosco, are you feeling like yourself? Of course, sir. Never better. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll get you back to normal. Thank you, fool. I suggest you hurry. Ugh. Even when he's riding us, he's too polite. It's unnerving! Can't you give us any more details on your father? It's straightforward enough, fool. I was a test tube baby. First in the country. No idea who'd make a spit donation to your mom? No more cracks about my mama, Mr. President. Or I'll have to ask you to step outside. How's life as a paradox treating it, Bosco? I prefer it if I'd been born, sir. Please repair the time stream at your earliest convenience. We'll see you around, Bosco. It couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The President's a very thorough liquor. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? 
We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. Very well. What'll it be? We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Quiescently frozen wombat guano. I can't issue you a patent, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Oh, come on! How could you possibly know that? I'm a government official, sir. I know these things. I'll need to know the unique ingredient to issue you a patent. Wallaby sweat. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. It's made with love. Sorry, sir. That ingredient is not in that sample. Bitumen 13. Very well. That seems to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. It's an official patent form for Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tar Cake. Heaping helpings of tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's Bat Mitzvah. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like... Super Bowl! I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. There's a couple of hooligans ruckus making down there. Oh dear! There's no way that's going to grow back! Me, Mighty Hunter! Kill fluorescent singing bear. The Flora Brady has twice the style the fauna one ever did. Remember Easter Island? Yeah, me either. Good place for a bath, right in front of the window. There's nothing good on, or bad on, for that matter. Me, mighty hunter. Kill fluorescent singing bear. Smile timber. Seems like only yesterday it was Gabriel. Bang! 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 My desk. My summer desk. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty to... Hey! What? Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. What do you get if you plant a Mexican jumping bean? You're looking at it. If Santa were still with us, he'd be having a hell of a time finding a way to Bangkok. I'm surprised this game survived being thrown clear of the Playland and Casino explosion. Not nearly as surprised as the guy it landed on. All points bulletin. We need a new bulletin. It's the model volcano that started this whole mess. It was very thoughtful of future us to bring it back as a souvenir. Jimmy still hasn't come home? Not happening. Nah. It's for the good of the future, Max. Mm -hmm.
time stream altered. It's the model volcano that started this whole mess. I stopped using this once I realized we don't actually use files. Max had to hang up his halo. When this case is over, Max, remind me to get a new lock for the office to keep the undesirables out. I doubt we can ever keep Superball out. He's the door whisperer. Bosco's THEM detector doesn't seem to be helping that much. We haven't run into any sinister conspiratorial aliens trying to destroy us all. Unless we keep just missing them. You're ever the optimist. Let's get back to work. Having a time machine means tons of billable hours. What are you doing here in our office? Investigating the president's disappearance, sir. So, you're back with the Secret Service then? Mmm, sure. Max wasn't missing. We've been on a case. We got beamed on board a spaceship. That's ridiculous, sir. It must have been a weather balloon. That was no balloon. It was a spaceship. Bosco saw it, too. Gas leak. Mass hypnosis. Two abductions on the same street in the same week? And you're going to just try and cover it up? I can neither confirm nor deny a cover-up, sir. How'd you find out we were missing? There was a rat, sir. Claimed he was de facto owner of this office since your disappearance. He was quickly taken away for questioning. Wow, it always takes us ages to get rid of Jimmy Two Teeth. We must be slipping, Max. All this time, I never thought to use rendition. How's the cover-up going? Very well, sir. Is what I'd say if there was a cover-up, which there isn't. Can you help us with our case? What seems to be the problem? Bosco's been abducted! Easily explained, sir. And he's trapped on a time-traveling spaceship! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Look into my eyes, please. What were we talking about? You'd said that Mr. Bosco is having a perfectly rational vacation in Pago Pago. Yes. Pago Pago. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. It was on the tip of my tongue. Very good, sir. Did we ask for help with our case? Which case is that, sir? The one with all the time traveling! There's no such thing as time travel, sir. Of course not. Hey, look, Max. It's Agent Superball. You were saying something, sir. Uh, uh... Very good, sir. We met a guy in Washington who's a dead ringer for you. That would be me, sir. That was 40 years ago! You couldn't still look that young without a time machine or something. Clean living, sir. There's no such thing as time machines. Don't you feel better now that you're no longer working for bad guys like Jorgen? Uh, yes. I enjoy working for the Secret Service. Fighting the good fight. Protecting the President. That reminds me, Sam. Can we wrap this case up pretty soon? I've got a healthcare system and five foreign governments to topple. <laughs> and I'm way behind schedule. Were you able to patch things up with Mrs. Superball? That's a negative, sir. We spoke briefly. It ended badly. She says she can't talk to me when I'm emotional like this. Don't worry, Superball. Every time life closes one door, it opens another. That thought disgusts and terrifies me, sir. Be seeing you, Superball. We can't seem to avoid it. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock! That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. Patent Office can my pus filled Actually, I don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction. Fine. I'll throw it out. Mm, 
time stream altered. It's the spaceship's artificial intelligence in smaller, easy to carry form. It's the spaceship's No siree. Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. That shot left my defenses wide open. This game is really digging me, Sam. I may never stop playing. Begin docking procedure. Ew, gag me. I'll change it back. Oh, Mr. Doc! But you'll do better next time. That's better. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Fine, shoot all the bad guys. I'll just have to make more, but no problem. Bitchin! You made the game even friendlier! The personality matrix is rejecting the new programming. I'll change it back. Nice try! You almost hit it! That's better! Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. You're winning impaired! Did you hear that, Sam? It says I'm winning! something. Hmm. It's not taking the new AI. I'll change it back. Good try! You'll do better next time! That's what I like to hear. Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Go, Will Ferrell! Shut up! You need the gun! Uh, you broke the game, Sam! Nuh-uh. I made it better. Go back to your man, Grandma! This, like, totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered, jackass. So, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tale, bruh! Well, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you? All. Night. Long. Don't look at me, Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected, jackass. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. How are we going to get off this spaceship? Hadn't given it much thought, sir. Don't you care about T-H-E-M coming back to kill you? Not really, sir. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I don't like Bosco like this, Max. We've got to get him back to his paranoid self! We'll see you around, Bosco.
Bye, Miss B. No, I'm pretty sure Bosco's father wasn't a tar cake. Nope. Don't touch that! I made that simple when my spit was most fertile! Time stream altered. Jackass. his old gruesome self. Dad, took you fools long enough. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-M. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Duh! They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's... it's... T-H-E-M! Oh, benvenidos, amigos. Ah! What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything. Weekly and simply. No, that is not our way. <coughs> Yo soy el mariachi solitario de las Tineuan's noble line. My people care only for robots and Martian invaders. But for birthdays they say, maybe later we don't have the time. Mariachi, I, 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 I come back from the future and pick up young versions of me. In our spaceship, I, 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 we set course through the time stream and fill Gringo's birthdays with glee. No! Por favor, don't freak out if you see Mariachi's extraños. It's just me and Miss Fatos who wish you feliz cumpleaños. Ah! <laughs> but spaceships like this are expensive. Even more when they travel through time. And singing for birthdays on smack makes us poco dinero. So we took on a contract and that's our new boss to go sign Mariachi Ay, 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 ay We take souls of the damned and we send them to places unknown I don't want to go! Through that portal Ay, 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 ay Although first we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone Our lives suck Where they go, we don't know But it's hard maybe it ends in our Oh, oh, the cowman has had a heart attack. Oh well. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! Look here, Pedro. Pedro! Boy, you people from the past are backwards. You think just because I'm mariachi with a big sombrero and mustache, I'm some two-dimensional cultural stereotype? You're right. I've been insensitive. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. What's your name? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My name really is Pedro. You've got to free Bosco, you maniacs. Nothing personal, but we cannot do that. 
We were scheduled to pick up two souls in Germany, but we only got the one. The cowman will fill our quota. Well, if you're delivering trapped souls, where are the cages? Cages? We don't got no cages. We don't have to show you any stinking cages. We keep the souls on the platform, see? We'd feel better if you'd give us Bosco's soul back. Oh, don't worry, amigos. I'm watching the whole soul-crushing process to make sure he doesn't escape. You guys are pure evil. Oh, that's not nice. We're not evil. And after we deliver the cowman's soul, we'll have paid for the spaceship. And then you can quit? Oh, no, senor. There's still so much for us to do with our time machine. So many deep questions left to answer. Like, what about the far, far future? How will I die? I can think of a few ways. And what is it like at the beginning of time, before history was written? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Chicken. Egg. Chicken! See, I must keep on until I find out for sure. You don't seem like a bad guy, Pedro. Quit this evil job. I told you, senor. I can't quit. At least until I found all the answers. Like, how do I die? And which came first, the chicken or the egg? You three mariachis look so much alike, it's uncanny. Didn't you hear the song? The others are younger versions of me. Oh, we weren't paying much attention to the song. We were too busy staring at your dingle balls. Gracias, senor. They really tie the room together, no? What are you doing here? Oh, I keep the eye on the soul crossing process. Como estas, vaca hombre? Help! Muy bueno. I also do the light maintenance and the IT. This can't be a satisfying job for you. Don't you want to quit? And go away forever? Oh, I got lots to complain about, believe you me. Who gets to be the Capitan? Pedro. Who gets to listen for the birthdays? Pedro. But who's stuck watching the clock and fixing the time card printer? Pedro. If you don't like your job, why don't you quit? Mm, being alone in here does let me practice the singing. And fixing the printer helps an old man feel useful. Adios. See you later, guys. Looks like some weird clock. It can take hundreds of years to cross a soul, senor. So we make the time vortex to speed things along. It says suck. By the looks of this place, somebody's been pushing the hell out of it. Birth dater doesn't work on these guys for some reason. Hey, a portable birthday checker. Pretty clever. How come it doesn't work on you? The mariachi can never have a birthday for himself. It is our curse. Can we get a sample of your spit? Oh no, senor. I got a tonsillectomy to prevent any accidents. Hey, check this out. What is that? It's from, uh, the beginning of, uh... Keep cool, Sam. You can do this. It's from the beginning of the universe. You're a terrible liar, Senor Perro. All right, I admit it. Now do you understand why I wouldn't make you vice president? Look, Pedro, from the beginning of the universe, honest. You're a terrible liar, Senor Perro. Nah. Please, Senor Perro. This is very sensitive equipment. Nothing doing. Steel pinatas? People of the future are kind of missing the point. Nope, there's no way to open it. 
That's just cruel. It's the mariachi's colorful piñata. It's some weird alien device that... Oops. Why, not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship just falls apart these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. It's an ink ribbon for the printer. Please don't touch that. I'll just have to change it again. I always suspected that time-traveling, soul-smuggling mariachis were behind all of this. Just because one of your crackpot theories turned out to be true, don't get cocky. How are we going to get Bosco's soul back with all these mariachis around? Ah, the age-old question. Well, they don't seem like bad people. Maybe we could just shoot them. What do you think a time card would look like for the beginning of time? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. So, these mariachis were the T-H-E-M Bosco's been talking about this whole time? Si, sí, senor. We are the temporal headquarters of enlightened mariachis. Early 21st century branch. I believe Sam was talking to me, sir. Sorry, can't help eavesdropping. Distract the mariachi with one of your erotically charged native dances, Max, while I figure out how to operate the controls. I refuse to whore out my talent for your petty schemes, Sam. Good to see those Moai heads finally found a way to make themselves useful. Yeah, depression is getting to be a real growth industry. Adios, amigo. Vaya con Dolores! Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. It may look like a zebra, but my Mexican friends assure me it's a donkey in zebra clothing. Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. Override, Captain Pedro. Arriba, Burro, Chipotle. Voice print match. Bridge override accepted. I had a feeling those mariachis wouldn't just stand by and let us take Bosco's soul back. Another errant Bermuda Triangle. Everything's starting to make sense. That was pretty good, Sam. I actually started to almost believe you. Lying is always a good substitute for not having a damn clue what the heck is going on. How you doing, Bosco? You gotta help me out, guys. They're really bringing me down. And then, in 1158, there was that monkey that just kept on pooping. Need anything, Bosco? I need you fools to save me, damn it! <sighs> Don't even get us started on the native dances. We're on the case, Bosco. Hurry up! It was always the same thing. Over and over again. What are you guys doing here? We were picked up right after the volcano erupted. Obviously, it was a signal flare for the carvers to come get us. See, we're not so good with the direction. Don't you want to take it easy on Bosco? We never had it easy. We just had to sit and stare for years and years. <laughs> hey, cheer up. Easy for you to say. Now let me tell you about those awful ocean chips. Oh, man. Hey, pal. Must be nice finally getting out of that dirt after a thousand years. He's been buried all that time? Oh, that's so sad. Still working through your anger issues? <laughs> buried for a thousand years? Who would do that to somebody? Take it easy on Bosco. <laughs> no, he's right, Sam. I am a failure. Take it easy on Bosco. No. Funny seeing you guys here again. If there's nothing funny about it, it's what we were carved to do. Hey, hey, hey. lighten up on Sam and Max. 
Oh, you're one to talk, Mr. One Offensive Stereotype after the next. Now you're just being mean. Stop what you're doing. It's evil. What's evil is being stuck on a spaceship while going through severe basalt withdrawal. Is this guy always like this? Sure we can't do anything to cheer you guys up? You can leave me alone to do my job. Now, Bosco, don't you realize that everybody got tired of you over a year ago? Some people like me! Better not. Better not. Oh, yes. <laughs> and people shooting me all the time. Fine. Shoot me just for speaking my mind. Putting course on screen. Hefe's log. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. The most dangerous boss day. Whatever. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It has the embarrassing idol logo and more of those strange numbers. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. Uh, we really don't need another embarrassing idol time card. Toner low. PC load time card. So long. Get lost, failure. Whee! Hey, Mac. Which one of the mariachis are you? Oh, yo no soy mariachi. Soy capitán. Soy capitán? Soy capitán. The mariachi says he is the captain. Yeah, I think we got that. Thanks. Who are you guys? We're Sam and... <gasps> Wait! Not... THE Sam? You know who I am? Of course. You're the famous recording star, no? Well, I don't like to brag. It is you. No one believed you could have a career with no talent at all, but you proved us all wrong. You're a hero to all of us who wish to sing. You must be a great singer if you're the captain. I could escape this two-peso operation and become the greatest singer time has ever known! If only I could ditch this dead weight. Rivalry! Now it's getting interesting! You want to start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the birthdays. How will I get my big break? You've got to set Bosco free. Oh no, senor. No one can enter the soul-crushing area once the protest has started. The rules, they are very explicit about this. This is all your fault. You're the ones who killed Bosco. That is ridiculous. Wait. You aren't going to sue, are you? Your singing scared him to death. It was a pre-existing condition. I have the weaknesses. We'll let you go this time, but only because we respect your methods. We know what we're doing. Let us free our pal Bosco. For the last time, as long as I am captain of this ship, no one enters the soul crushing area. Now why don't you run along and let the professionals do their job? Where are we going? Amigos. We are on course hasta la madre de todos los cumpleaños! Friends, we are on course for the mother of all birthdays. Sam, you've got to stop encouraging these guys! Look on the screen. Triplets! And not just any triplets. They all have the same birthday! What's so hard about your mission? Yeah, you just show up, sing, and leave everybody confused. The others, maybe, but the Capitan cannot be so sloppy. It's muy importante that no one notice us, or remember that we were ever there, for a year at least. Are we still on course? Si, embarrassing idol and the triplet's birthday, dead ahead. 
Permission to stop talking, Captain. Granted. Nope. Appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Nuh-uh. Nah, mutiny's not my thing. Not violent mutiny, anyway. Hmm, it doesn't seem to work on these guys. Hmm, it doesn't seem to work on these guys. We should figure out how to ditch the crew and take this baby on a joyride. I want to leave it outside Whitley Stryber's house and leave the car alarm on all night. Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! What's your job around here, buddy? Shh! Quiet, senor. Did someone say... Oh, no. False alarm. Let me guess. You spend all your time listening for people to say birthday. Que? Did someone say birthday? Yeah, Sam just said birthday. Please, senors. My job is very important. This work is beneath you. It's tedious and error-prone. Frankly, we think you should leave. Nonsense. I have got six of the birthdays today alone. The look of happiness and utter confusion on people's faces makes it all worthwhile. We demand you return our pal Bosco's soul. I can't do that, senor. The cow man's soul will help us pay for our mission. Why do you hate the birthday so much? This must be the most boring job ever. Don't you ever get a break? I get to go on the away missions. Those away missions sound neat. Let's see you in action. Don't be silly, senor. I can't just go and sing for no reason. Come on, there's gotta be tons of birthdays going on. See, si, but we've already sung for all of those. We can only do it once. You look like you could use a break. Your mustache is drooping. There's that sag in your sombrero. I appreciate that, guys. I really do. But I can't leave here until there is a new birthday. Hey, Max, what happens on April 22nd? Hmm, I think that's Earth Day. Okay. Uh, showtime, people. Attention! Wait, you make the joke on me, eh? Pretty snacky. Max, what do Australians celebrate on June 11th every year? Hmm, by any chance would that be Perth Day? Did someone say, got me again? Max, want to go watch Pride and Prejudice and all the Bridget Jones Diary movies back to back? You know it, girlfriend. It'll be our Colin Firth Day. Did someone say, hold your guys? Sayonara. Okay. The talking dog said goodbye. The mariachis use it to listen across time and space for special occasions. I can't think of anything interesting to do with mariachi spit, which says a lot about my imagination. Trippy old hunk of moon. Oh man, that song is even worse than I remembered. So I can't I believe I voted for you. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note. Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him.
I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max, listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Doppelgangers. Who are you clowns? We're you guys, from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings! I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? We just came to say hello. Somebody's got trouble letting go of the past! I'll be glad when I grow out of that attitude problem. Alright, well, hello. Okay, that's done. Got any questions about your immediate future? Hmm, nope, can't think of any. What number am I thinking of right now? 28. That's all? There's nothing you're curious about? We'd rather see it for ourselves. Keeps the mystery in our relationship. <laughs> Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense! Yeah, all those guys are our friends. Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair and square. And I helped him cheat. Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Well... So, that's bad, right? Yep. Oh boy! In the future we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You... jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again! Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves! Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. Am I really that annoying when I'm on a case, always talking to myself? I can't open that door. It's locked. I always assumed you were dictating your memoirs. Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! It's last year's version of Max. I want to ask, ask you something. something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But, oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? Why don't you just drive there? You can't just drive to the moon, Bonehead! Sheesh, Sam! Our future selves have no respect for plausibility! Why do you need to go to the moon, anyway? Freelance police business. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. I say we don't answer them, Sam, if they're gonna take that kind of attitude. Yeah, but I remember that case, pal. I don't want to mess up the space-time continuum or something. You need a really big trampoline. All right, where do we get one of those? What luck! We've got one you can use. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, we've got one of those, Sam! Right, Max, but we need it to get onto Myra's show, remember? Oh, right, right, yeah. Who's Myra? But we already told you, we solved that case. Twice! Likely story. I don't trust me for one second. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? Didn't you already ask me that? Yeah, and I'm going to keep asking until I get a different answer. That's just how we roll. You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Sorry, pal. We need that contract. Ah. <sighs> What do we need it for again? To get on Myra's show, remember? You'd better think of something else. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? 
You need a toaster with wings. All right, where do we get one of those? Ask Mama Bosco in the 60s. Well, there's two hours we're never getting back. Just between you and me, pal, I don't think those future versions of us know what they're doing. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? You need to get a clue. All right. Where do we get one of those? Ask Stinky in the early 80s. Why do we keep listening to future us? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I've got a question. Ask away. How can we get to the moon again? You need a time-traveling phone booth. All right. Where do we get one of those? Ask Agent Superball in the future. What is this place? This is not our beautiful house. How did we get here? Do I know you? Like a brother. Weren't you gonna ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam, don't we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for... Um... Uh, huh, I can't remember. It must be important, or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points! Weren't you gonna trade us something? Uh, yeah. Uh, here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye! We'll never forget all you've done here today! Have fun on the rest of your adventures! I'm even more confused than usual. Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! Finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Let's change the national date. The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. The new official date is September 2nd, Labor Day. Or for us freelancers, False Labor Day. Hey, Super Bowl, is today your birthday by any chance? No, sir, not particularly. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Whee! The new official date is September 12th. That's sweet. The president left a reminder for his anniversary. By J. Hat. Good advice for anyone's anniversary. Hey, Super Bowl, is today your birthday by any chance? No, sir, not particularly. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. Whee! The new official date is September 16th. Mexican Independence Day! This is awkward, Max. Are we supposed to get our new mariachi pals a gift? I think destroying their entire evil operation is the perfect way to say, we care. The new official date is September 24th, the autumnal equinox. The perfect day for holding godless naked rituals in a moonlit glade somewhere. For those window shopping heathens, maybe, who think you can just pick one day out of the year for your godless naked rituals. The new official date is September 28th, Yom Kippur. I'm proud that we're sensitive enough to acknowledge and then immediately ignore cultures we don't entirely understand.
The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, birthday? I wonder if those mariachis can hear what we're saying right now. Well, either they can't, or they have an embarrassing lack of respect for their mother's honor. Super Bowl's as unshakably rock-solid and dependable as ever. I think he needs a hug. Go to it, Sam! Ask me again in about 50 years. Hang loose, Daddy-o. Right on. Come on, guys, hurry up! You don't want to get stranded! Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, birthday? Wait up, guys! I'll be there in just a minute! Oh, no! Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. Local mariachi Pedro died this week, due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. Looks like our trusty bulletin board is still in good shape. Not happening. Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh no, there are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, carry the trace. Last month at the castle in Germany. Tough break about the dying and all. Oh well, at least I got in the newspaper. Adios.
We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. So long. Get lost, failure. It's the first prize recording contract from Embarrassing Idol. It's a blank time card. Whee! Here you go, Captain. Your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract. Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international superstar. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is old news. I'm going to sing songs about... Trains! No siree. Just look at it, Max. Eh, uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe, before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something. It's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. Try not to eat the singularity, Max. That would be bad. Oh, why'd you have to go and mention that, Sam? Now that's all I want to do! Wow, Mr. Featherly's appearance here at the beginning of the universe sure was an unexpected surprise. We only know one chicken, Sam. Odds were strongly in his favor. It sure is dark. Let there be light! Damn! You're still president, little buddy. Being here at the beginning of literally everything really makes you think, doesn't it? It just makes me appreciate matter that much more. Yeah, the void kind of sucks, actually. I saw the darkness, and I said, Catch you later, Max. And it was good. That's weird. It just printed out another useless blank time card. Are you sure you're not really older than the known universe, Mr. Featherly? As always, I have become the role in which I was cast. That's the singularity from which the entire universe is going to spring in a mind-bendingly tremendous cataclysm. Neat. Better not. Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes. Well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. How do you like it here around the Singularity? I thought dinner theater in Ocala, Florida was dull. But that was nothing compared to, well, nothing. Being here at the start of it all can't be all bad. Well, I will give it one thing. The acoustics are outstanding! <laughs> Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe.
Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm. Apparently I am. And there's the rub. Come back to existence with us, Mr. F. It appears I cannot leave without violating the laws of the universe. You'll have to find a stand-in. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. I saw the darkness, and I said, Catch you later, Max. And it was good. You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait! What are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. Put me down at once! Not yet, Mr. Featherly. How you doing in there, Mr. Featherly? It's hot and reeks of cologne and kibble treats! Glad to hear it. All right in there, Mr. Featherly? It's all right. No way. No way. Dear God, man! Do you ever wash that coat? ¿Qué onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah! Turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Likely story. I'll have to see that egg. But, but, but... I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, wait, wait! No! Don't put me back in there! Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Woohoo! Now the spaceship is ours to command! Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission? To hug Caligula! Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What? What's happening? I don't want to go! Whoops! Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Well, Bosco's soul has gone on to a better place now. And he left his body just lying there, so we have to clean up after him one last time. Adios, amigo. Vaya con Dolores! Check this out, Max. A thousand years spent shivering in Antus. You stopped time! Neat! Now make it go backwards. Ration! Ow! That's the best I can do, pal. Whee! Attempt to enter soul-crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all! Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Extending bridge. Hola, Sam y Max. You don't know us. But we are time-traveling mariachis, with a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh-oh. Foreign body in time vortex. Self-destruct sequence engaged. 
Madre de Dios. Let's get out of here. We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue-loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Maxi Sam. Setting course for the beginning of the universe. Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. The bridge is already extended. Poor Bosco. The horror of time-traveling mariachis was too much for his weak heart to bear. Adios, amigo. Who set off the self-destruct, Sam? Doesn't matter, Max. Quick, into the time elevator. Hey, wait for us. Kind of crowded in here already. Yeah, good luck. Man, I hate those guys! I'm gonna figure out how to fly this thing and fly us back home. Good plan! If we're gonna explode anyway, we might as well do as much damage as we can on the way out. Think we could find the owner's manual somewhere around here? Even if we could, it's probably all in Spanish. And I had to drop Spanish class right before Chapter Ocho. Asking the time of day and piloting advanced spacecraft. Well, we might be headed for our inevitable death, but at least our past selves are still gallivanting through the time stream, carrying on our legacy. All the more reason to escape, Sam! So we can hunt down those accursed clones and destroy them! Don't wander too far, Max. Try and stop me! Emergency recall button disabled during self-destruct. Well, that's just stupid! Hey, stop the self-destruct! Impossible. Course set for the beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. How will we get out of here? In thousands of tiny pieces, most likely. Turn the ship around! Course locked. Destruction imminent. Soul vacuum's only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. All right in there, Mr. Featherly? It's all right. So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all. Our well-meaning but dreary pals from Easter Island. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell!